Hi, I'm Dr. Simon Freider, consultant in clinical neurophysiology. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to this video where I'm going to explain the origins of the word epilepsy, seizures and fits. The word epilepsy first appears in the written works in about the year 1578 where a gentleman called Henry Light was translating a Flemish botanical um, text with various uh, herbal medications for epilepsy and instead of using the previously known term of falling disease which I'll come back to soon used the word epilepsy so this is the first time that it was used the word epilepsy itself is a Greek word which generally is translated as a seizure however if we look at the actual etymology of this word and pull it apart we see that the word epi means upon and lamvanin which is the or original word where it came from means to be taken hold of or to be taken possession of and this harks back to the unfortunate position that society had for centuries, millennia even, that epilepsy was some form of spiritual possession. Prior to that it was named by quite a variety of names. So for the Greeks they used to call it the sacred disease in keeping with this origin of spiritual possession. It was only in the 5th century when Hippocrates came along and he realized that actually it was a brain dysfunction and he decided it would be far better to call it the great disease. Now this was unfortunately largely ignored and people kept on thinking about it being some kind of spiritual possession um, until the 17th century when Jean-Martin Charcot came along and realized that um, people with epilepsy were being lumped together in various hospitals in Paris uh, who had had uh, schizophrenia or various forms of um, insanity, cognitive dysfunctions, you name it, um, and he realized actually these were entirely separate. Interestingly though, um, coming back to Hippocrates and his concept of the great disease, this actually is somewhat preserved today when we talk about a grand mal seizure, grand mal seizure, uh, which directly translate as a great malady, a great disease. Fast forwarding onto the Roman period following the Greeks, epilepsy was known by a variety of names. So one of the more important ones, and certainly one that stuck, was Morbus caducus, the falling disease, which is what was known as in England as epilepsy until 1578. It was also known, interestingly, as Morbus comitialis, which is the disease of the assembly, and that harks back to a tradition where if someone had an epileptic seizure during a public assembly, when they were discussing something, it was seen as a bad omen from the gods, and so they would have to stop what they were discussing and go for ritual purification. Um, the other names that it was also known as was Morbus Sacha, which is the sacred disease, which is what the Greeks knew it as, and also, unfortunately, Morbus Demoniacus, which is the uh, a sort of devil's disease. Um, from all of that, uh, from 1578 onwards, epilepsy is the term that has stuck. Um, but it's interesting to note that its origin actually does come from the word possession. It's kind of interesting also, just at this point, with the historical background to all of this, to talk about the word lunacy or lunatic, uh, which effectively means being moonstruck, which was sometimes applied to people who had epilepsy too. So how does this come about? If we look at the very earliest talk uh, in literature about epilepsy, um, there is an ancient Mesopotamian language um, called the Akkadian texts which talk about this and associate epilepsy with their moon god. In addition to which, in Greek mythology, um, the Greek goddess Selene, who was the Greek goddess of the moon, uh, was also said to strike people down with epilepsy if she fell out of favor with them or they fell out of favor from her. So why is there an association between the ancient texts of epilepsy and the moon? 
So there's always been a, a, an ongoing debate whether there's a relationship between epilepsy and moon cycle. Um, we've now been able to establish that it's luminosity of the moon uh, which is important rather than the phase of the moon. So in other words, um, if you have got a full moon but it's cloudy, um, then that does not increase the chance of a person having a seizure. However, for those who have their seizures provoked by sleep deprivation and it's a very bright full moon um, and that's disturbing their sleep then that can actually provoke um, a seizure and so that probably uh, harks back into this ancient association between the moon and epilepsy. Let's talk about the word seizure. So seizure is an interesting word too. Uh, it comes from an old 13th uh, century um, French word called saisir and actually harks back to uh, a feudal system and uh, the legal act of possessing a property. Um, even today the word seizure is used in relation to um, seizing property, you know, property seizure, um, and again this kind of harks back into this notion that people with epilepsy used to be considered to be possessed by things. It only really turned into medical use in the 1770s uh, where it was actually used as a sudden attack of illness um, and that's where it became the sort of medically sterilized use that we are now used to today. The final word that I would like to talk about is the word fit. Um, obviously this is a word which has many meanings and when I was researching um, the, sort of the definitions of, of epilepsy in the previous videos and of course you can you know look at them by clicking on the i-card above, recommend that you do so. Um, I saw on a variety of patient forum groups that people do not appreciate the word fit to be used in reference to the um, episodes that they have. The word actually comes uh, from the 1540s uh, as being used as a sudden attack and if we go a little bit earlier on in time, it, the old ye old English uh, form of this was fit with two T's uh, and actually meant a conflict or a struggle. So it's kind of ironic in a way that the word that people perceive as being pejorative because you know we use it today in a fit of rage, a fit of anger um, with regard to epilepsy is probably the most uh, sterile of, of, of the lot in terms of its um, history. Um, but um, you know, nowadays we just talk about the word epilepsy or seizures and, and these hopefully should have very little negative uh, connotations with regard to sort of spiritual possessions and so on uh, that they certainly probably would have had originally. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've found it as interesting uh, as I did when I was researching it. Um, if you've got any thoughts, suggestions, comments, please do feel free to contribute to the discussion in the text uh, below. Um, of course, um, your support is appreciated by liking, sharing and subscribing as always. And I hope to see you in the next video shortly.